match speed, they, have, they get that. And that's the same, our, their match speed is the same thing as our match speed. So uh, when they were doing a drill package with our guys one day, and we were warming up, and they said, okay, now let's go match speed. It was like everybody got it. So sometimes it could be just the littlest thing is terminology. Uh, and so like that goes back to drilling. Like how do you want the drill, kids to drill? Is it slow motion, or is it middle of the road, or is it match speed? And sometimes it's just the way you say it. Like the terminology, so like when they said match speed, and that, that's what we use. When we, you know, drill hard, okay, everybody understands what that is, or I should say doesn't, because of different definitions. But when you say match speed, I'm drilling like I'm wrestling, live. And the other thing is, <clears throat> just as a perfect example, yesterday, I had Scott Winston with me, and uh, I trained these eight, nine, ten year olds, like they're 19, 20, 22 years, 22 years old, you know, so I'm like, all right, we're going to, you know, Free fake doubles, you know, 10 each guy, high pace, let's go, you know. These kids will get out there, hit the double leg, boom, and they're like, getting up all slow, they're talking, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, you know, and for me, the way I get everything through to them is by leading by example, by, with, you know, guys, watch how we do this, watch how we do this. You know, even when we're warming up, I'm like, all right, guys, do this, do this, and they're good at that age, even if they don't know all the technique that they're doing, of imitating, you know, of watching the, no, I'm doing this. You know, they don't know exactly what, I'm actually reaching for a single, then cutting back to a double, you know, but by having them watch me, watch me, and the other thing I do is I relate it to them so they can understand. You know, I try to get them thinking like I do. You know, the kid's like, I got ridden out with tight waist and a single wrist. Tight waist and single wrist, I don't know how to get out of it. I'm just sitting at dinner talking to him. I said, was he out to the side? He said, yeah. I said, all right, so if he needs to be out to the side to ride this ride, where do you need him? Behind me? I said, no, exactly. You know? And so, you know, like talking to him like that and getting things like that to relate to him is the easiest way. It's breaking it down, simple, real simplistic, showing it to him. I'm a visual learner. They're usually good once they see it, of repeating it. So, so even the next day, if you're doing a stand up, you got to get back down on the mat and go over what you did. That night, it's visual learning this big. We talk about not like having the same practices over and over again. There are a couple of staples that we do in our practice every day, like that front head hamstring knee pound, so they're going to get into it all the time. You know, the 10 9 8s that we do at the Rutgers room, my guys, my little guys do that every day. 